they're spoiled. I spoil my cattle. <laughs> when they see me coming, they're looking for the white bucket to fill the mangers up. Oh. I don't give them much every day, but enough for them to say, OK, you had some candy. Oh. Well, one of my cows that had a calf started having problems with her legs and laying down and wasn't getting up and coming to feed. Can't find a cut or anything. It's just its hocks are swelling up, and it's not walking on it. Dr. Nicole came to investigate. Is she pregnant now, or? No, her calf is right there. Little one right there. Yep. Most worried about getting the hoof taken care of on the cow so she can continue to feed her calves. That hawk right there. Oh, yeah. OK. Hi, good girl. I don't know girl. if she stepped on something or what. Yeah. Do you have a halter? Hey, pretty girl. Thankfully, he has got the cow caught up. Yeah, don't run. You're going to hurt both of us but she still has a pretty good range to move around in. Ah. So now I have to halt her up, and hopefully she'll let me. Does she have a name? Yes, White Face 2. White Face 2. Yeah, I bought three White Face <laughs> at one time. I got one, two, and three. <laughs> Come on, oh turn God. your head around. Come on. That should do it. Most cows don't like their leg caught up in a rope and then have you looking at it and me putting my face behind a cow's leg is really dangerous. So I'm just gonna sedate her and make it easy and safe for everyone. Ooh, yeah, she is super swollen. So when I first examine her, I can feel her hock is pretty swollen, but I really wanna get a good look at her hoof because most lameness cases in cows and horses are down in the hoof. Ooh, look at that. What is it? Got some foot rot. Foot rot? Yep. Bacteria gets into the skin, seeps up, and causes some damage and an infection. That can happen in somewhat conditions. I mean, we've gotten a lot of rain recently. Last night, we got an inch and a quarter. Oh, gosh, yeah. You know, we get monsoon rains here. We don't get just a nice rainstorm. It gets wet out there. Yeah, that whole thing is just very infected. Sorry, Mama, I know that hurts. <laughs> See, it's starting to bleed now that I messed with it. Mm -hmm. Can we fix that? Too. Yep, with antibiotics. For her, what we need to do is start her on some anti-inflammatories and antibiotics. If untreated, hoof rot can become even worse. Um, the infection can ascend up her leg, and then she can get a whole bunch of cellulitis, and that's a really hard thing to treat. So thankfully, Stefan caught it early and called me out today, and we can get her fixed up. So this will be everything she needs today. OK, miss, white face. Good morning. Come on, girl. So yeah, she'll wake up in the next couple hours. She'll be a little stumbly too, so try not to really give her any food or water until she's up walking pretty well. OK. If you can keep her somewhere drier, that would help, but. I'm taking Chaser down to the bottom where it's drier. There you go. OK, have a good right. day. Yep, see you nice later. meeting you now. Hopefully that's all going to be good. And We'll go on from there and she can finish raising her calf and I can get her bread for next year. <laughs>